Welcome to the Exact Contact tutorial series. In this tutorial, we will go through the IDX lead capture options available with your agent website. This includes visitor registration options, as well as options for applying your branding to emails sent to website visitors who fill out your IDX lead capture forms. Note that these options only apply if you have the IDX professional package. In order to increase lead generation, there are a number of options available to encourage or require visitor registration on your IDX search and property details pages. In order to turn on visitor registration, start by selecting the IDX control panel under IDX setup in the left menu. Your IDX control panel should open in a new window. If it does not, be sure to always allow pop-ups for this website. Select the setup tab, and under Lead Capture in the left menu, select User Registration. By default, visitor registration is turned off. Keep in mind that requiring visitor registration to your search results or property details pages will adversely affect the search engine optimization of your website since the pages that require registration cannot be indexed by search engines. There are four levels of visitor registration requirements from ultralight one prompt, which is optional and will only prompt the visitor once, all the way up to heavy, which will require all visitors to register and confirms that they have provided a valid email address before they can continue to your IDX pages. The next section of the page allows you to set the registration trigger points, which are the pages that will trigger the vi visitor registration form. You need to set at least one of these page types to a value other than never in order to have your registration requirement option selected above kick in. For each IDX page, you can either set the visitor registration form to appear immediately or after a selected number of visitor uh, visits to that page. To demonstrate, I'm going to select ultralight multi-prompt for my visitor registration option. and I'm going to set it to prompt immediately for my search page. Be sure to click the Submit Changes button in each section of the page to save your changes. Now, if I go to my website, click Search Listings, I am prompted to register, but with the option to register later. If you opt for visitor registration, in order to have registration leads fed right into your exact contact CRM, go to the Advanced Routing option under Email Settings in your IDX Control Panel, and at the very bottom of the page, under New Website Registration, check the box next to Other, and enter your CRM email lead capture email address in the box to the right. Assuming you have already set this up for your other IDX lead capture forms, you can copy the address from one of the fields above. And paste it in the new field and click Save Email Settings to save your changes. Next, we will go over the branding options available for emails sent to website visitors when they complete your IDX lead capture forms. Return to your website control panel, and under IDX Setup in the left menu, click Email Branding. You can either apply Basic Branding, which applies a predefined format for your emails with information that you upload, or you can, uh, you can use Custom HTML. For Basic Branding, you can upload an agent photo, a logo, and include your business information. To upload your photo, click the Upload Agent Photo button, and you can either select a new file from your computer or an existing file that you already uploaded to your media library. To do this, click the Show link next to the picture and click Insert into Post. I have already uploaded my logo and entered my business information that I wish to appear in my emails. Click Save Changes, and 
Here's an example of an email with my branding. There's my logo, my business information, and my photo. If you select the custom HTML option, you can either use the visual editor to create a custom design yourself for your header and your footer, including adding e images from your media library, or you can use the text mode and paste in HTML provided by a web designer. You now know how to set up the visitor registration options that are available for your IDX website, as well as the options for adding branding to emails sent to your leads.